There are two undeniable truths in the dairy business. Cows have to be milked and manure has to be cleaned up. At the 11 dairies that make up Fair Oaks Farms in Northwest Indiana, there is plenty of both. About 30,000 cows produce more than 250,000 gallons of milk per day on Fair Oaks sprawling 19,000 acres. Those cows also produce about 1.5 million gallons of manure per day. That's seven days a week, 365 days a year. Amid growing concern about the odor caused by all that manure, Fair Oaks made a critical decision over a decade ago. Instead of relying on the traditional disposal method of storing manure until conditions were right to spread it on area farm fields, Fair Oaks began experimenting with anaerobic digestion. Today, it uses a system of digesters to convert manure into renewable natural gas that powers a fleet of 42 trucks with Kenworth T440 tractors powered by Cummins Westport natural gas engines. The trucks haul milk around the clock to processing plants in Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Part of running a dairy is dealing with the waste that comes out of the cows. And so as part of dealing with that waste, we've tried to find innovative ways to convert that waste to energy. Storman has been overseeing projects at Fair Oaks since 2000. The farm partners with AMP Americas to produce the compressed natural gas, or CNG, used to fuel the trucks. Our fleet is really, really pressed hard. We are running 42 trucks delivering 53 loads of milk a day. Those trucks average 720 miles a day, so each truck is averaging over 250,000 miles a year. Fair Oaks is also a tourist attraction and it produces enough renewable natural gas to power a restaurant and cheese factory, as well as the buses to take visitors on barn tours. Fair Oaks also sells some of its gas to a utility company. Here's how the Fair Oaks system works. Sand is used for the cow's bedding, and three times a day, while the cows are milked, the sand and manure is vacuumed up and delivered to a digester. Water is added to help separate the manure and sand, and the sand is dried and reused. The watered-down manure goes into a large holding tank, where natural organisms in the manure create gas. The gas is processed to remove impurities, resulting in a final product that is around 98% natural gas. Fair Oaks has invested several million dollars into its digesters, and estimates they remove about 95% of the manure's objectionable odor. We have to look at it as an entire system. So as we look at the entire system from the, from the picking up of the manure until the delivery to the trucks, it's probably gonna be a 10-year payback. Fair Oaks has been using Cummins Westport's nine liter ISLG, knowing the engine was undersized for pulling typical payloads of close to 80,000 pounds. In the fall of 2013, it began converting its fleet to Cummins Westport's new ISX 12G engine, a larger engine designed for the kind of demands Fair Oaks is putting on its fleet. They're really making um, the lives of their neighbors better by reducing the smells, but then they're also um, reducing their dependence on, on oil um, and using a, a sustainable, renewable fuel. After two years of running its trucks on this renewable fuel source, Fair Oaks estimates it is conserving about two million gallons of diesel fuel annually. We believe that as we start to power more CNG trucks, there'll begin increased demand for the renewable natural gas. And so yes, the an simple answer to your question is, this becomes a model that can be reproduced all over the United States.